Hey, it's Miguel, and this is a couple pages. Our journal with me. Here we go. Hey everyone. Um, I wasn't actually planning on recording a video or making this video whatsoever, but this spread that I was doing, it actually kind of got delayed. So I'm making it this week. So since I already made a trailer, I decided I might as well record it and see how it goes. If you guys saw my Instagram story earlier this week, you probably saw the reason why this got delayed. And it's because I ran out of tape in my label maker. I'll actually put it up here just for the people who didn't see it. Yeah. Or if you guys ignored it. I'm not mad. You do you. So anyways, I'm making a spread and this is actually a Star Wars themed spread so you know how delayed it is. I was supposed to do this last week but you'll see why it was kind of important. On the right hand side, I'm going to do a galaxy design which is super popular nowadays and I'm not mad about it. I kind of like this galaxy craze going on. It's super nice. I, and people have so many different ways of painting galaxies. So there's so many content and people to learn from. It's always a growing experience. And using watercolor, it's kind of unpredictable sometimes. And that's why I kind of like it. I like watercolor. It sometimes looks like a mistake, but... At the end of it, usually it turns out pretty well. So how I do my galaxies is basically layering. I layer a film of water all over the page first. So the paint spreads out a bit evenly and then I layer the lighter color first and then I layer a darker color, a darker shade better yet. And then I'll introduce different colors like purples, reds, and a bit of green here and there. And yeah, you could try different color variations. Anyways, so I'm actually using a vellum sheet here that was given to me by Job. And on it, I did a black and white design of R2-D2 and C3PO. And unlike my other black and white designs, I basically just traced it. It's so much easier, especially for this one. And vellum sheets are basically glorified tracing paper. I'm joking. No, not really. Maybe. Maybe joking. Anyways, <laughs> as I <laughs> ramble on, I'm just letting the right hand side dry. And because I'm so impatient, I'm using my embossing tool to quickly dry this and it's gonna curl up because if you haven't noticed I'm using my calendar insert this is from the first half of the 2017 insert I guess that's what it I mean calendar insert yeah and they're really not meant for watercolor but I'm rambling right now as you can see, I'm adding stars using white paint, varying in sizes, and I like doing this controlled randomness, you would call it, instead of just like splashing paint onto it. Also with watercolor, you really need really high concentrated pigment of white for it to show up on top of the colors, so you really need to do it for each star. Um, but I like it. Some faces don't have stars at all, but I think it works out. And as I ramble on, let's focus on the left hand side. And I'm using this product brochure. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. That has this monochromatic tile mosaic. I believe that's, that's what it is. And I think it's perfect because I didn't want it to be too noisy for both pages because the galaxy design is quite colorful and it, I think it's a good balance. And on top of that, or better yet, at the bottom of this page, 
I'm adding this X-Wing cutout that I got from an ad. It's been pretty crazy up here. There's Star Wars ads all over the place. I think I just got a second copy of that for some reason. But yeah, I think it adds to it. I like it. And it has a space background, so it kind of blends in. And then I'm going to add this space washi tape that has an astronaut on it. Not really Star Wars related, but space related. So I'll give it a pass. And I'm just going to cut off the edges of this. And I'm getting pretty close to finishing this. I'm just going to tape the vellum sheet onto the page and I'm not going too crazy about it I probably could have done this a little bit better but I think it turns out pretty well so yeah look at this it's an unboxing or better yet on unwrapping because it didn't come in a box but what's more important is I have my new tape refill but I'll actually be using my smaller one because I've realized that it has smaller spaces in between the letters. And that's really important for this spread. And I don't know if you guys could see it, but it says 404 error. And I printed that out multiple times because I need it for both sides. And do you guys get get it now do you get it do you get it i mean it's 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 a joke it's 404 error because they're not the droids you're looking for droids not found i lulled you guys into a joke how'd you like that <laughs> oh i did this spread just for that i it was stuck in my head and i just had to do it, it i found it super funny and I like the total idea of it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to try and digitize it. I, I just really like it. But yeah, this spread is made for that joke. But yeah. Oh, you know what? I forgot to add that ticket. I, I told myself I was going to do that. And I probably should have done that earlier. Better late than never though. So here it is. And I should probably talk about the teacup I use. Because what's a cup in a cup and pages, right? So this is the Royal Albert Old Country Rose Collection. And my favorite one at that. So you will definitely see that teacup in the future. So hopefully you liked the video. And if you did like it, hit that like button. And since you're down there, why not leave a comment? If you like something, let me know. If you didn't like something, let me know as well. Hopefully, I'll learn from it and grow from it. Merry Christmas, everyone. Happy Holidays. See you guys in New Year's. Laters.